Hello everybody, my name is Joy and welcome to Symmetry. Now this game is inspired on the uh, creepypasta with the same name. And if you're somewhat familiar with the story, then you'll understand that this is not a game for the weak of heart, and especially not for the weak of stomach, if that makes any sense. But this is a bit of a disclaimer, it could get rather disturbing. So, without further ado, let's get to it. I love Symmetry. I'm not sure exactly why, but I've loved it since I was a kid. Our children are messy and forgetful of their things. Not me. I knew everything had its place and in my room everything was right where it belonged. My parents didn't have it. My grandparents didn't have it either. Not a single person in my family had it. I started referring to it as it because I truly believe it's a thing inside me. It's a need, a desire, a longing to be perfect, perfect on both sides. Can I play? Yes, I can. Oh, this looks really neat. This was made on the Unity engine, by the way, as you can probably tell. Look at how neat everything looks. That's a pretty interesting intro as well. Really well done. That's way more than I expected. Fix environment. Oh my, I gotta fix it. I gotta fix everything. Do I click on stuff or...? There we go. As an adult, Make everything I'm nice. Where I can't live my life normally. I can't keep a job. Men don't stay with me because they can't handle it. Honestly, I don't even care when they leave. They're messy and make things difficult. They Why can't I make this bed? Inside and be bad instead of staying on their own. They leave dishes in one side of the sink but not the other. I can't work anymore, so when they leave for the day, I have to stay home and fix everything. You have a lovely home, by the way. It's a relief when they leave for good. That feeling never lasts, though. Eventually, it comes back and finds something else that needs fixing. You may be asking why should I seek out relationships to begin with if I can't stand them? Well, it's hard for me to sleep in the middle of the bed or not without moving. You have a lot of books with exact dots on them. I like that. I like that. I can honestly somewhat relate to it. Of course not to this level, but I, when I was younger, I had a few... Um... Ticks? I'm a lady! My voice is awfully heavy. No offense. Oh, oh, I remember now. Look at my two beautiful eyes. I remember the, a bit of the story now, and I'm not sure if I wanted to remember. Let's see, what else needs fixing? Is this perfectly aligned? No, it's not. It's not. It's not where it should be. There we go. There we go. That's much better. And honestly, still find relief when it's when everything is just right. You know, where everything is where it's supposed to be. Like I'm not claiming to have any sort of condition that would you know make it compulsive for me, but um, you know, I guess it's a very minor thing. Maybe everyone has that. Why can't I make my bed? It bothers me, honestly, now. Alright, what else needs fixing? The lamp. This lamp. There we go. Let's see, what else is there to be fixed? I see plenty of stuff, but... Why can't I fix this lamp? It's not... it's not right. And those wood blocks in the fireplace aren't symmetric. There we go. That's one more. What else? Maps. Fix them. If I live alone, how can it be so disorganized? Do I not live alone? 
Abandoned by Disney, room 0, 11 miles. Russian sleep experiment. Oh, these are all, these are all creepypastas. Unknown oh, heaven. Th these are all creepypasta things. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's the exact same box too. Obviously. Obviously. They should be. Fix it. Precisely four books with the same picture of the eye. Okay. I got somewhat startled by my own reflection there, but what is this supposed to be? Okay. Alright then, let me continue to fix things because we're obviously not done yet. Can I go outside? There's a room here, I can tell. Maybe later. Maybe I have to fix everything first. Alright, when will I know when I fixed everything? Or will it just keep looping? This is not right. That's not right either. Uh, really? Okay, <laughs> I just flipped over that book. That's fine. I have a family relationship problem. My life is pretty much in order. I say pretty much because there is one last issue that must be dealt with. Yep, I think I know what you're talking about. Approach the mirror. You see, I have what's called heterochromia iridium, or two different colored irises. My right eye has cornflower blue. My left pale green. Both my parents have cornflower blue eyes, my siblings and cousins as well. My green eye is the broken one. It makes me unbalanced. Okay. Oh great, hauntedchoir.fm. I love that. It's my favorites. Okay. What is that a radio? I think it is. All right. So, what do I, I go to bed? But I just woke up. I just fixed my house. What's behind this door? I want to know. Hold on, let me check up on my recording real quick. All right, all should be well. Cuz last time when I was recording something went wrong and half of my footage was black. Which sucked. I hate that. Anyway, let's get to bed. I still am bothered by the fact that you didn't make your bed. I, I cannot understand that. Morning. A new day of fixing things. Approach the mirror. Well, why can't I fix that? Things aren't right. That looks good. Anyway, um, let me just move around a little bit and see if there's other things maybe to be fixed. No? Things in order? Okay, I guess the dude who messed up my house yesterday left. Approach the mirror. Every time I look at myself in the mirror, it stares right back at me. It's all I think about now. Everything is in its right place, except my green little mistake. And your hair. Like, your hair isn't exactly symmetrical either. I don't mean to bother you in any regard, but... You know, that's a thing. I don't know... And uh, this is like... This is not criticism, this is just 
something I noticed. The voice actor in this, like with a very low pitched voice and the obviously modified voice, I don't know if that was intentional or if they just didn't have a voice actress for this. <sighs> Take spoon. Oh, that's why there was only one spoon. Well, at least that will be symmetrical again. Fantastic. There we go, we took it. You want to study this before you get to work? Because I think we can all guess what's going to happen next. You. E. Oh god, what happens if I do it wrong? You could have just worn a contact lens, man. Why are you gonna be so extreme about everything? There we go. All fixed. Take scissors. Oh, uh, oh, okay. I was supposed to do more stuff. Great, fantastic. W what do we do with the scissors? Uh, oh, right. I remember what I did with the scissors. Let me snap it off. You know that that's actually quite difficult, because the optic nerve is pretty strong. It's pretty thick. I snipped the optic nerve and blotted the warm fluids that were streaming down my face. My vision being cut in half was a strange sensation. What was left of the angry flesh I placed back in the now empty hole. I rinsed it desperately and went to sleep. Silent Hill music. I like that. Got a bat? Don't you want to take a shower or something or anything like that? For someone who's so obsessed with symmetry, you're awfully not obsessed with personal hygiene. Did you even properly clean that spoon before you got to work? Wakey wakey! Now the day of self-mutilation. I woke up. Happy. I slept better than I had in years. It was finally done. I was fixed. I got out of my bed. My body ached and my head was on fire. The light was blinding. And when I looked up to the mirror, my stomach turned. Okay, can't imagine why. It's a bit harder to navigate. I really like how this game has been made, by the way. The visuals are really pretty fucking good. Hi there, sweetums. Only then had I realized what I'd done to myself and I couldn't believe it. There was a hole in the left side of my face. But not the right. I was unbalanced again. Glass. Eye. Glass eye. Let's not go crazy, just get a glass eye. Problem solved. You know, you could have fixed it with some contact lenses, but we're kind of past that point. Take the spoon and scissors. Very well, I guess we're doing this again. Where's the spoon? Where's the scissors? Is the spoon at least in the sink? Did I at least clean it? No. Where's my spoon? Seriously, where are they? Oh, there we go, on the floor. Never mind. Never mind then. Right, quick time event again. Let's play another game of poking the eye. Fix it. It says.
I'm thinking perhaps the voice is intentional. Because it's supposed to be it inside her. Just watch harder living out the second eye. My hands were shaking when I thought it was me. A single time's butchering my pupil. Three times before I go to the right place. Once the eye bombs out, I reached for my scissors to finish the job. The blood from the previous night had tried on the blood, so the scissors didn't cut. Fix it. How can you still see? It is literally impossible for you to still see. Again. It's fixed. Again, again, again. I don't trust this. Oh, I pressed the wrong button first, but I don't know if that matters. I pulled it straight out of my head. I felt the flesh tear from inside my skull. I felt it in red pants, pure liquids everywhere. crying but there was no doubting the tears from the blood or the ocular fluid. When I heard the wet slap of bloody flesh against the tile floor, I knew I was done. I knew it was done. I could live my life now without having to see people's awful, messy, uneven lives. The relief washed over me and I knew it would pass this time. I had never felt this way before, never had this much hope. As I landed in that cold, wet, sticky tile, I smiled for the first time in years. Ah, oh, I love happy endings. So, that was Symmetry by the RG crew. I think it was really well done. I think it was a very interesting uh, creepypasta to put into a game and I think they did it really, really well. Like, um, the only thing that I had about the voice though, I don't know if that was intentional. If... Shut up, phone. Doing a thing here. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making the game. It was really, really awesome. Uh, what was I talking about? The voice. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Uh, if it was supposed to be the it speaking inside of her or if they just couldn't find a voice actress. In that case, uh, if you're working on any projects and you like a voice actor, go look down in the description. I will leave a link to a website that has um, basically... that that um, God damn it. That helps voice actors find projects they can work on, like standalone projects, not necessarily by big companies. And where you, as a game developer, or a cartoon maker or whatever maker can find voice actors. So maybe that's a good idea. I forgot the name of it, but I've been part of that website for a while now. I voice some very small projects. So I'd be willing to voice it. Really, I 
don't mean to toot my own horn here, but if if I would love to voice it if you want me to. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to the developers for making this game. I think you did an awesome job with this. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!